Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the leaderboard question balanced binary tree. Okay, first of all, let's check if you understand this question exactly. So description said height balanced binary tree is a binary tree in which the depth of two subtree of every node never differs by more than one. So look at the first tree. So is this true or false? This is a false, right? Because uh, from root node, so right subtree has two height, but there's no uh, node uh, on the left side, right? So that means zero height. So this subtree and this subtree, so the difference is two, right? So that's why um, this is a false. And uh, how about the second tree? Is this true or false? So this is a uh, true, right? So left side has height one and uh, left side is I2. So difference is one. So this is a balanced tree. And uh, moreover, and look at the uh, inside of right subtree. So uh, from 20, so left side is one, right side is one. So they are equal, right? So this is a totally uh, balanced tree, right? So that's why this is a true. And uh, look at the third tree. So from root node, we have only left subtree, so this is height 1, but uh, there is no right side, so height is 0. Is this true or false? So this is a true because the difference um, between left subtree and right subtree is uh, just 1. So that's why true, even if we don't have right side. So how about uh, the last tree? So is this true or false? So this is, I think, false. So height of left subtree is one, and uh, height of right subtree is one, two, three. So difference is two, right? So that's why um, difference is more than one. Uh, that is false. Okay, first of all, let me summarize the point to solve this question. So first point is how do you handle no? And the second point is how do you calculate height difference? And the third point is, what do you keep for the next recursive process? I'll explain one by one. OK, first point is, how do you handle null? Actually, we can see the answer for this question. So look at the example 3 in the description. So if tree is null, so the example 3 return true, right? So simply, we consider null as balanced. So null is nothing at current position and uh, both sides. So that means the fact that nothing exists makes the left and the right sides balanced. Next, how do you calculate height difference? So the description said a height balanced binary tree is a binary tree in which the depths of two subtree of every node never differs by more than one. So look at this tree. So left subtree, height of left subtree is one, right? And the height of right subtree here is two, right? So since we need to know height difference, we have to subtract left and right heights. So for example, if we calculate right minus left, so 2 minus 1 equal 1. But um, there is a little problem. So there is a case where um, left height of left subtree is higher than height of right subtree. So uh, think about uh, like an uh, opposite case. So 20, 15, 7 is left side and uh, only 9 is right side. In the case, right height is 1 minus, so left side is 2. So that is a minus 1, right? So we don't get 1. So, but we need a 1, right? So how do you handle this problem? My answer is to use absolute value so that we can handle like a one and a minus one as just one. So formula is like right minus left and uh, absolute value. So in that case, um, even if um, left, left is higher than right's height, that means this case. So we will get uh, minus one, right? But uh, this is an absolute value, so in the end, we will get 1. And uh, if um, we calculate like a 2 minus 1, like this, so we will get 1. So 1 absolute value of 
one is also one, right? So we can handle both case. So of course, uh, we can, uh, I think we can avoid this problem with like an if statement, but that is not elegant solution, I think. Okay, the last point is what do you keep for the next recursive process? So we use a depth first search to solve this question, and I think we need to pass two pieces of data to next recursive call. Do you have any idea? So one is a Boolean value to track whether the tree has remained balanced from leaf nodes up to this point, current point, since every part of tree must be balanced. And the other is the height of current subtree, including the current node which is needed to check if left and right side are balanced at this level. So using uh, these two in the next recursive call should allow us to determine whether the tree is balanced or not. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, let's write the code. First of all, let's create a def first search function. So def def first search and uh, passing the root node. And uh, first of all, if not root, so this is a uh, point one. In that case, we should return true, right? But uh, do you remember point three? So we should return two piece of data. So first data is, is balanced or not. So this is a, a null case, always return true, right? And the second point is current height. So if current root is null, so that means uh, that is a leaf node. So that's why I always return zero as a height. And after that, so let's say left balanced and uh, left height equal. So we call this first such again and passing the left node. So root dot left. And we do the same thing for right side. So right balanced and right height equal this first search and uh, root dot right and uh, after that let's check if uh, until current position um, we have like a balanced tree or not so is balanced equal so left side is balanced and uh, right side is balanced and uh, so this is a point two. So we use a absolute value. So absolute. And uh, in the previous section, uh, I explained like a right minus left, but uh, you can put left minus right because uh, we use absolute value. So it doesn't affect the answer. So left height minus right height and uh, less than or equal one. So if uh, three cases are true, so is balanced is true, right? And then after that, return. So uh, we return two pieces of data. So one is, is balanced. And the uh, second data is height, including current um, node. So that's why we need to plus one, plus we take a max height between left height and right height. And then uh, we call this first search from outside. So this first search and passing the root node. And then we need uh, like a true or false. That's why we need a uh, index zero. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is a number of nodes in the tree. And the space complexity is, uh, I think, also order of n. So in the worst case, like a skewed tree, so recursive depth is order of n. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.